What's up guys, Barry here, and in this video I'm going to share with you 4 easy ways to record your audio mix within Machine that don't require you to reroute or bus any of your tracks. So that was the sample we'll be working with today. And the first easy way to program audio mutes within Machine will be to create program changes. So to do this, you'll need to be on a sound level, where the first step is to have the program change window selected from the bottom. From there, click the plus sign below the velocity text, right-click the not assigned text that just appeared to bring up the option menu. You'll then scroll down to the bottom, select 120, which is the all sounds off option. From there, all you have to do is draw in a MIDI message to trigger the change. And do know that you're not limited to have the program change when your sample is triggered. You can place the mute wherever you'd like. Alright, so this next technique is by far the most straightforward, and it only requires one change within Machine Sampler. With your sampler selected, you'll first move to page 2, which is the pitch slash envelope page. From there, change the type from one shot to ADSR. And without doing anything else, the sample sounds like this. Alright, so what we just saw and heard was that while in ADSR mode, the length of the MIDI note determines how much of the sample chop is played. So all you have to do is select all the notes and extend them so the sample doesn't cut off. From there, select the note you want to end early, aka mute, and simply shorten the MIDI note. If you want to get a bit creative with your mutes and want to create a tape stop effect, this next technique is for you. Perform effects can only be found on a group level. Once loaded, we're going to select the scratcher mode on the bottom of the menu. And in order for the effect strip to work, you'll have to select it on the hardware. Pushing on the left side of the strip will trigger a really fast scratch, whereas the most right creates a really slow scratch. To record the effect, hold shift and select auto on the hardware. Push play and begin recording the effect. Alright guys, so the last method is if you find yourself on the Arrange page, but before we get to it, I'm going to quickly ask you guys to hit that thumbs up button if you haven't already, and to please consider subscribing for more beat making content. And if you really want to support me as an independent musician and content creator, please visit soundseekerstudio.com where you can find samples, DJ mixes, and even merch that I've created similar to this J. Dill inspired t-shirt. All you have to do is double click on top of the pattern to create a clip. You can do that on a MIDI track as well as an audio track. The benefit of using clips is that you can easily move them around. But if you find yourself unable to move the clips in smaller intervals, you can change that by pressing shift and follow to open up your grid options on the hardware. And for clips, you want to select the arrange option on the top and use your pads to change your desired grid value or simply turn it off. <laughs> 